Within the museum alone, we think we've got about 33 million pinned insects, and we want to digitise as many of these as possible and make them available to researchers and to academics and members of the public all around the world. Before Intellect came around, there really wasn't um, any software around that would make those things possible, um, and it's made a massive difference to our work here. Megaloprepus ciliariatus here is the largest species of dragonfly in the world, which is interesting because it's actually a damselfly, not a dragonfly. Uh, the oldest one in terms of collection data is, is that specimen over there, which was collected and deposited in the museum in 1896. At the Natural History Museum, we've been collecting insect specimens for over 250 years, and we have a huge collection amounting to about 35 million insects, we think. And that's as part of the 80 million specimens that we have in our entire collections. So there's a huge backlog of material that needs to be digitised to be made publicly available. Intellect was conceived by Ben Price, who's a curator of, uh, of insects here at the museum. Um, and he identified the need for this programme where we're imaging well over 30 million pinned insects in the museum. So imaging them individually is just not possible. Whereas taking an image of one drawer of maybe a few hundred insects at a time is much more practical. Intellect is some software that we um, developed here at the Natural History Museum with some collaborators in South Africa, which we use to take whole draw images and segment them down to individual insect photographs. So we put them into a large robotic capturing device called the SatScan, which captures large images of the whole draw, and then we segment them up using Intellect. All the work we do is open by default. So at the time that I came on board with the project, we already had an institutional GitHub account where all of our code resides, so it made sense to just continue that and make Intellect available via that mechanism. As with any scientific output, it's very important that the process is repeatable. So by having publicly available source code with tags for each release, it's possible for someone to recreate the workflow that was done at the previous stage. One of the benefits of Intellect is it can automatically detect the edges of each one of these individual insects and crop each individual insect out of that really large image. Before Intellect was developed, it would probably take about an hour or two to process a single draw of specimens, but by using Intellect it takes about five minutes to capture the image and then about ten minutes in total to tag up the entire draw. We've made Intellect open source so that all the museums and other research institutes around the world can use it without paying license fee. Um, and it's really helped with the development of Intellect because a lot of people have contributed to it.